Welcome to my list of the top seven hottest 1980s movie vixens. In seventh, Tawny Catan. The White Snake music video vixen comes in tenth on our list, mostly because she had only two roles of note during the 1980s. First, she played the good girl fiancé to Tom Hanks' character in Bachelor Party. But perhaps even more memorably, Catan was cast in the role of a woman who becomes dangerously obsessed with a ghost she contacted using a Ouija board. That, coupled with her unforgettable moves on top of two jaguars parked next to one another, earns her a spot in the seventh position. Sixth, Vanity. Denise Matthews, better known as Vanity, was a singer-songwriter and model turned actress who left it all to concentrate on a career in evangelism. That was before she passed away at the relatively young age of 57 due to kidney failure. While mostly known for her time with Prince, her appearance in two iconic 1980s action movies cements her status as one of the hottest movie vixens of the decade. She held her own on screen next to Carl Weathers in Action Jackson, and in The Last Dragon, she walks away with the movie. Fifth, Kelly LeBrock. The model-turned-actress is most famous for introducing the catchphrase Don't Hate Me Because I'm Beautiful into pop culture as the ubiquitous spokesperson for a series of Pantene shampoo commercials that ran during the 80s. But for men of my age who were young adults during that time, best remember LeBrock as the fantasy woman that Gene Wilder lusts after in Woman in Red and the computer-designed perfect female in Weird Science before co-starring with her then-husband Steven Seagal in 1990's Hard to Kill. The image of LeBrock emerging as a computer manifestation in Weird Science is an image seared into the mind of every male over 40. Fourth, Rebecca De Mornay. De Mornay made her film debut with a bit part in Francis Ford Coppola's 1981 film, One from the Heart, which starred her real-life partner at the time, Harry Dean Stanton. But it was her star-making role two years later in Risky Business, opposite Tom Cruise, that audiences glimpsed the package of beauty and talent De Mornay possessed. The chemistry between stars was apparently real, as De Mornay and Cruise began a short relationship after the film wrapped. In 1985, she played the title role in The Slugger's Wife, starring as a sexual muse to a slumping ball player, before ending the year with a co-starring role in the sleeper hit Runaway Train. However, it's that scene on the subway train at night in Risky Business that earns her a spot in the fourth position. 3. B.B. Cates This one is based solely on one movie, and specifically on one memorable scene in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Cates, emerging in slow motion from the swimming pool on a warm California afternoon while Judge Reinhold fantasizes about her in the bathroom, is one for the ages. She would go on to instant fame due to the attention that movie received, but Cates shied away from appearing in explicit roles in the future. Her other 80s offerings, Private School with Matthew Modine and Gremlins, were notable hits before bottoming out in 1991 with the dud, Drop Dead Fred. 2. Kim Basinger Kim Basinger is another model-turned-actress. She has the distinction of being the only 1980s movie vixen on the list who's appeared as a Bond girl, a sought-after and prestigious title during the era, and parlayed that into a successful career as a movie star, even winning an Academy Award in 1997. While seemingly unbothered by on-screen nudity, Basinger pushed the limits of an R rating with the steamy sex scenes in Nine and a Half Weeks, and posed nude for a Playboy pictorial in 1983 to coincide with the release of the James Bond film, Never Say Never Again. 
She would then star opposite Bruce Willis before capping off the 1980s co-starring in the biggest movie of the decade, Batman. Her mix of sweet-natured and sultry sex appeal made her a household name during the era. Number 1. Shannon Tweed The most stunning movie vixen of the 1980s is unquestionably none other than the queen of mainstream erotica, Shannon Tweed. The Playboy Playmate of the Year in 1982 made her impact on the big screen when she appeared as a devilish ski bunny in the 1984 comedy Hot Dog, the movie, before becoming the top name in direct-to-video erotic thrillers. Having appeared in over 40 titles during her run as a top-billed attraction, Tweed worked hard to give her fans the entertainment they desired. The Night Eyes series is a good example of the type of line-towing erotica available to home video renters and late-night cable watchers during the time. For all her years of commitment and her drop-dead gorgeous looks, it's Shannon Tweed who tops our list of the hottest movie vixens of the 1980s.